My name is Annabelle Murray. I'm an attorney at the Children's Law Center. Thank you for letting me speak briefly because everyone's been so eloquent. I don't have a lot to add. But the fact that the, the folks that spoke to you initially from, I guess, the mayor's office don't know how many homeless children are here in the city of and county of Honolulu, that they couldn't give you a number, um, seems to me incredible. It was very easy for me to find out uh, just a couple days ago when I asked. I had to do a little bit of digging. There's over 600 children who are listed as homeless in the DOE alone. So that doesn't take into consideration uh, the children who are no longer going to school or all the children who are not old enough to go to school. And one of the things that I was doing here today was just coming to listen because I don't want to just start talking and not really knowing what's going on and who's talking and, and what the different positions are. And the other thing I did is I've gone down to Kaka'ako for a couple of days and walked around and I've made a couple of commitments to those folks which I need to keep. One is to bring books and to read to the little kids and the other is to bring school supplies. But we have to remember, the school supplies need to be replenished because they're being taken. Sorry, Please I get proceed. nervous. I'm not a great speaker. Please proceed. The school supplies are being taken in the sweeps. The school bags are getting taken in the sweeps. How about we come up with a plan that there's a sticker that's not so obvious for these poor kids who are homeless and don't want to show it off to their classmates so that when someone's coming in to take everything, they know, don't take the school bags. 600 kids in those schools. And I get very, it's, it's been a very intense sort of process looking and watching all this. So I may, you know, my voice is shaking a little. If you arrest parents, the kids will go into CPS. They'll go into foster care. It's a huge cost. The only good, th there's nothing good about it, so I don't want to say there would be, because no, these parents aren't abusing their children. Homelessness is not, is not considered abuse and neglect in the state of Hawaii, nor should it be. What, if these children were in foster care, they would get services, and their parents would get reunification services. And there would be an entire system set up to ensure that these children would be reunified with these parents in a safe and stable home. It's unbelievable to me that we're talking about having these parents criminalized. 620, 40, I'm, I'm not sure of the number, over 600. I do the know, know the number. Somebody could call DOH and find out. These kids have school bags that are being taken in sweeps. They have clothes, they have books. I wanna bring books to the little kids in, in Kaka'ako. Those kids have told me they will get taken in the sweeps and they will not get them back. I don't know where they go. Do they go in the trash? So it is about the children. It has to be about the children. And the fact that nobody had that number and I was able to get it in about three hours just is amazing. So thank you for listening.